I think we mo I think we have to hit reclaimer here. I mean that's like as good as it gets, I think. We have Reclaimer into Keep. We have Reclaimer into, uh, with essentially Force Backup. Endurance being in the deck here is kind of pretty funny, right? Playing against Reanimator. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of my viewers just got dropped because of the um, Twitch, like, messed up, but it is what it is, right? Roll Mox. That's a new one. Uh, I don't think I care about that. All right, take care, Sadra. Appreciate you coming by. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I think here we fetch first before we want. Actually, I should have looked more carefully at what was seen off the once so that I know whether to fetch or not, uh, to reclaim her or not. That was bad of me. Alright, we got our opponent in a soft lock here. Just um we'll close out pretty soon. Sure. 
I don't think we care. There's no reason to play the Viserdi there. But actually, um, something Sager mentioned is one way to, to become more blue soup is probably to play Endurance main as many as we can because that will open up the sideboard really is the appeal. Actually, I don't even think we care about that. We have the Baseju. Alright, um, that was pretty easy game one. We had the bus, we had the nuts, and we knew what they were on, so that helps. And then we can just board out the Glimpse of Natures. The Oof is bad, and then part of the best friend combination. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like uh, half our audience dropped out there with, with the, uh, the disconnect. I need it. That's part of the issue that um, I have when I play on Wi-Fi. So, keep. It, I probably think, actually, the topic becomes like, at what point do I just play four endurances? main because um if we go in that direction right obviously you get hurt if uh sure obviously we get hurt if um what is the word i'm looking for you get hurt if uh you can't just draw too many of those right oh uh, what a draw right there All right, the Reclaimer is insane. Uh, this is just insane because uh, it forces uh, our opponent to go underneath now, but we just drew the top deck that was needed to blow them out. Right, like this, this forces the Archon play, and we're just going to have a straight blowout here. That's game. Uh, 
Again, uh, I think the reanimator, reanimator matchup is very good. Three combo decks so far this league. Um, one, two, I think we are okay with that. I, I, obviously, ideally, it'd be 3 0, but I think this player is usually on like Moon Stompy. Uh, I don't think we can keep that, especially if they're not Moon Stompy. Oh, man. Why does this always happen? I don't think we can go to. Well, we could, but it's just not great. Something I played not too long ago that could be a fun stream is um, Yorian. Uh, I played it off stream, but there is a build that I think is like half decent. Um, what it accomplishes, I'm not sure at the moment, but could be fun. And that would allow us to play like the Endurance's main, which I did in that version. Um, Eight cast, perhaps? Looks like it. We can, if we can draw a land, I think we're in really good shape. Ugh, not a land. So might as well play the shepherd out, right? Like in case they want to just randomly force stuff. So they can put back the cannoneer. It looks like. Um, I think here we're just gonna, you know, shields d down for us for a turn. Here, um, we're just playing creatures. If we did it the other way, um, yeah, that wouldn't work. I, yeah, that wouldn't work. I was thinking about the option of tapping the reclaimer, then, but that doesn't work because um, we can't reclaim for the for the cradle anyways. This way, we at least deck then. Uh, next turn is going to be a big turn for us because we can bash for fifteen, and then we can bash for fifteen again, right? Potentially, um, I think they're probably going to cast the cannoneer here. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. So they take the pedal. Maybe they have a cannoneer in hand. That's the only explanation. Okay, that's reasonable, I guess. That's just easy mode now. Actually, hold on. It's more damage if we do it this way. Not, not that it matters, but. Actually, that's four, I'm miscounting, but yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, um, you know, our look of the draw, right? We, we, we ran into the matchup that is very good. 
Uh, I think here, like, I don't even know how much we want to board, if at all. Uh, that's bad. I think we probably don't want the Caracas. Uh, I think the bog is slow, personally. Uh, the Caracas is the hedge in case, for some reason, they have, like, EE recursion. Uh, I think the snuff out is quite good. And then, I guess, we can even keep, like, Actually, the land might just be relevant for some reason. Yeah, I'm looking at the deck architecture at the moment, and maybe the next step is, yeah, just, just play endurances, right? If we're gonna go towards the green soup uh, plan, just have like less reliance on the combo and more cyborg slots freed up. The problem though is like endurance is not quite good against some decks like Thalia decks. Um, it's not great either against um, like these Jeskai decks or or even like these Grixis control decks. So Birch Floor is more like high floor, but it, Endurance, what it does is it does open up the side point. Excuse me. Ideally, we hit a land draw, right? That's, that's actually quite good. Uh, ooh. I think we take the second land? Yeah, I think we take the second land here. Um, they can cast a chalice if they want, I think. They don't know we have the shepherd in hand, which is nice. Actually, that might be argument to cut the second birch lore, because at least the shepherd is a hate card in some circumstances. So I think I might just do that going forward. Um, until there's another printing that is like relevant. What did we lose to earlier? We lost the ant in this league, and then in the other league, I have to look it up. I don't remember. I'm doing three here because um, in case they think it's something else and they don't play around the collective. So w when when afforded luxury, I will overpay for the green sun and it has thrown people off because they think I'm getting grist or something. That might just be game, I don't know.
Might be a cannoneer here. Nope. Um, we, this matchup is very easy, so. Alright, let me quickly check what that other loss was. I think I'm okay with the two losses, the, the, the two game losses there to Ant. Um, I'm just trying to hear what was our other loss to. Oh, we lost to the Mirror. Okay, so I, again, I think that's probably okay. Uh, would be quite amount, quite a good amount of combo today, whatever that's worth. My, my, my concern with something like Endurance is it's good in a lot of matchups, but it's not good in every matchup. So you run the risk of, uh, what is it called? You run the risk of drawing at the wrong time and then losing a matchup you otherwise probably should not lose to. A lot of combo tonight though. Uh, 8-cast uh, was not, but a lot otherwise. Com oh man, this curve is kind of high. I don't think we can keep this hand. Better, but not good. So we mow the hand there that, um, I don't know, felt slow to me. Like, we have to hit multiple land draws before Natural Order or even Gris are alive. Felt like we could do better, but unfortunately we just did worse. I don't want, I don't want to go to five. Oh my goodness. This is a loss. Pretty sure we've lost. If opponent supremes here, I think I don't want to get blown out. Obviously, if they have a day to do, we just lose on the spot, but that's unavoidable. Yeah, it definitely felt like that was what they were going to play into. <sighs> that's a problem.
So I, I suspect what's going to happen here is a timeless dragon going to hit the board to protect the Narch set. And that's going to be annoying. Or we can just lose potentially on the spot too, depending what they do here. Uh, if they have an undoing, right? Hard to beat that kind of start. Uh, we have to hope this connects here, otherwise we are in a lot of trouble. Might be a snapcaster, just to block. have a chance um we could glimpse now but that only draws us one i think the better play here is to visionary and hope we draw something relevant like we're we're in the game now that's pretty good uh, this could be a sanctuary, so I don't want to like lean too hard into it. It is just very hard to play around sanctuary uh, for us. Okay. Obviously, they have it still um, if they want to. It's going to be a problem. That's really good. One way to be a sanctuary with verdict in the yard okay, is to power through it with double glimpse. Uh, I think here we can wait. There's no, really no rush. Yeah, okay. So they, they we got them to use the um, the sanctuary, which is nice. And we, so we can go off potentially this coming turn now, depending on what we draw. I thought this was a lost game, to be honest. But now it's not looking too bad. Um, what did they target? Oh, they didn't target the... Um, interesting. They didn't target the brain. Okay. I think we just have to do it now, right? This is how we can be a sanctuary because then we're still a positive. We whiff though off the double glimpse. Um, it smells like Shark Typhoon. 
I don't think I want to walk into it. There's no need. Sure. I think I realized what this deck would prefer to have. It's more ways to fix the hand. Br green Brainstorm would be nice, obviously. Up oh, and then green Force of Will, but that sort of exists already with uh, Endurance. Oh my god. Maybe Abundant Harvest would do that, but I don't really want to play Abundant Harvest. Down to one turn. Flood, flooding out. Yeah, for sure, Levi. I, I think they should have won earlier, um, but like we were flooding out now. Two, four. Okay, we don't have lethal. I think we have to play through the um, the dragon. That was probably closer than it should have been. I think they were way ahead. Our hands were like awful. And then like, I don't think they maybe played the best. Uh, to fill you in, Levi, I am testing, just like trying to save more cyber space, right? Like moving the endurance is the main. Uh, I don't know how I love that, but we did win a game one against Reanimator. I think I will, yeah, I have to think about how I want to do it. Obviously, the, the high floor card that actually is, like, high impact is would be the Fourth Shepherd and only play one Burst Lore. So that is, like, a, an easy swap, too, if I want to go down that route. Um, I don't, I think we can get away with really one Burst Lore. Uh, I think against this kind of deck... Like, I'm tempted to play Discard, but then it's, like... Not particularly great against... Like, if they had, like, the Tempo Hand, you just fall a little bit behind. Uh, Endurance, probably not great either. But... Yeah, yeah, for sure, Levi. Like, I think, obviously, the Endurances can, like, save you sideboard slots, right? You're playing main, where it's usually good, but not always. Um... I'm like debating how, if, I, if I want discard here. I feel like the answer is yes. And then I don't think I actually want endurance in this matchup. Something like that. I tried uh, recently a small mini package uh, with Fiend Artisan and Opposition Agent. Opposite an agent, when you draw that card and it's relevant, it's just nothing but a blowout. 
Uh, yeah, that's fair, Levi. That is fair. Keep. I probably should have boarded out the bog too, but like, could be relevant. Also, really, I know you already saw the good news, uh, Levi, but really sick that Will won uh, the Ch Magic Online Championship tonight, or today. It's gotta be swords, right? Yeah. The eight plow deck, more or less. Um, I hate wasting mana. For sure, Levi, for sure. How's school going, by the way, Levi? Like, half our uh, audience dropped off because my internet, like, glitched up and disconnected me from the Twitch, but glad you're hanging out here. Um, I think here we can visionary first to see what they do. Kind of annoying, but I think in this situation, oh, that's sick! Awesome to hear, man. I'm uh, very happy for you, Levi. I think here we just get the water wood. Um, there's really no reason to bounce yet. I think we just leave as is. I I, I kind of like having the uh, the extra mana from the cradle. Sure. Oh, they are missing land drop. Well, not anymore, but if they're doing that main phase, I don't think they have another land. Probably ending on the symbiote, sure. I think here we just slam the glimpse and see how they react. They, they, it's highly possible they have a supreme verdict, but I don't think we can play around that. Oh wow. So the nice thing about Wirewood here is uh, it's essentially a, a two for one, right? Like we get to save one of our creatures if uh, they sweep and they most likely will. If they don't, they're probably just dead. Yeah, the difference between this deck and Zenith is there's a huge gap between, or in narrowness, between Force of Will and Endurance. And I think it's probably correct to just, you know, Lean on the uh, the fact that you can't just kill people with like an interrupted kill with uh, Shepherd still, and even though it's not great against some of these creature decks, a one drop elf does a lot when you have Heritage Druid still. Um, I think our opponent is probably just dead, and they know it too. What do you cook, by the way, Levi? Also nice to have that uh, job experience early. I know I wish I had gotten a job earlier. I got mine like my 
junior year, I guess, of college. Um, I think from here, do I, I'm thinking about do I bounce or not? Probably. Like we're, sure. Unless they tap out, like, there's no reason for me to rush. That is an interesting draw. Uh, normally I would play the Gris, but it's just too much cards I think to pass up and mana efficiency. That is just an insane draw. So if I green sun for wirewood here, I can kind of do the same thing, but I kind of want to also just leave the Gris on the board because then they have the final two axes now, right? That's good. Um, it, they, making your own bread is pretty impressive for sure. Yeah, I I definitely don't cook as much like anymore as I did in college, but also different when you uh, have somebody who who's willing to cook for you, right? So to speak. All right, uh, a little bit scary. What's going on here? I think there's no reason to rush. So I'm just gonna continue to just like. Ugh, I wouldn't want to draw that, but that's okay. I didn't draw the shepherd, but that's this is almost better. Yeah, for sure, Levi. Maybe it's a close look return. Uh, sure, I'll float the mana. Um. Do I want to float for Reclaimer? Probably. Yeah. Um. Do I even care about the force, probably not. Um, I already plus, unfortunately, plus mis mistake on my behalf. They may force this, who, who the hell knows. Yeah. Uh, there's really no rush, I think. So outside of Supreme Verdict, I think they just lose, right? 
Um, I think I was rooting for great question, Levi. I think I was rooting for um, what is it called? Uh, Celtics, but I mean, I didn't really care to be honest. I, I like I I did root for them, but I don't really mind that the Warriors won. Uh, I think it's swords or bust here for um, well actually that's not true. I think if I plus here. Then I can hoof, and then it's even lethal through. Um, it's lethal through. Uh, what's it called? Swords. Ah, gotcha. That makes sense. Leave on. So that should be game. We have one more game. Hopefully, we can end on this 4-1. Uh, first league was 4-1, so maybe we can get a pair of 4-1s. We lost the first league, ironically, to the mirror. And we were on the draw, so it is what it is. Uh, this league, we lost to... What the heck did we lose to? Oh, Ant. Uh, which I think was fine. Um, our opponent just ripped off the top. Uh, and we didn't see anything relevant in the first, you know... Seven cards. Well, we top decked a, a discard spell, so I, that that's to be fair. Um, but I think that's okay. We did beat Sneak and Show and Reanimator a couple of times. I think Reanimator really can't beat us outside of some nut hands. Uh, I think in this matchup, I think the d discard is probably correct. They don't really rely on the graveyard. And I think having a bog is fine. Um, one inch... Well, actually, that's not... It's not too bad. I think if we go to the fourth shepherd, uh, we can still take out the second heritage, which I think is what we want to be at anyways. This is like pretty good. Obviously the one issue with discard is you want them on time and that's not always going to be the case. I think here we're going to fetch first before once. In most likelihood, we're not going to need the Basaji to, to, to channel. Um, I think here the Cradle is too good not to take. Uh, two Narset and a Supreme Verdict. Um... I mean, I think we have to take the Supreme, unfortunately. I think what we can do here is lead with the Wildwood. Uh, because this allows us to shepherd through, right? Like, they have to swords the water way through, and it, this can get the grist down, which is like huge. Um, it's game three, Levi. Uh, we, we lost game one, won game two. But. <laughs> no, you're good, Levi. Don't worry. Okay, so the Narset is going to come down right now. That's fine. Swords, okay.
I think the line here, they're going to Swords our Shepherd, and then we're going to be like down on mana. I feel like we have to ramp here. Uh, okay, so the decision here is... Do we tick down? Or do we... Attack? We tick down here, we go to 1. And then the Narset is off the board. They can plow us. And then put a fresh Narset. I feel like we have to tick down here. So they don't get the card. Also, there's a chance they don't have a land. And if that's the case, they can't do both, right? Looks like prismatic endings coming. Maybe they're tapping wrong. So if it is an ending, I think I'm okay with that because now we we're ahead on board. Sure. And they don't have a land for the swords, hopefully. Yep. So now we're almost like we're on the play. Oh, that is an insane card. Oh, the sanctuary there is a problem. Uh, the swords, do we care? Yeah, I, I took the Narset. So, great. Luckily, we're thinking alike. We can Swords of the Shepherd for all we care. They're trying to save the Sanctuary for the Supreme Verdict, is what I'm gleaning. And if they want to Swords of the Shepherd, that's fine with me, I think. That's going to find their land, and they're, they're going to probably get the Supreme Verdict in two turns. Hopefully we can set up a kill before that. That that's actually a pretty tough choice, and I think a lot of people would probably take the swords there. They didn't shuffle. The other tough choice that we had to make earlier too was like, do we want to take the Narset off the board or do we want to save the, the mana? And I think we had to take the Narset off the board. All right, this doing that is like huge for us because they can't recur the Supreme Verdict now. Sure, I don't think we care. It, it definitely does, uh, Levi, for sure. Because they missed the land drop. That was the huge part. Um, I think here... Alright. We 
we need to not do that. So we can fetch here. They almost have to kind of react here, right? Jesus, okay. I think we're actually okay with that too. Um, and I think the deck thinning here is not worth the information. You gotta be kidding me. What? Oh my god. I guess these are... Ugh, that's brutal. I think we just lost. Kind of aggravating to lose when you're ahead the whole game. I have to do this in hard mode now.
Yeah, definitely demoralizing there. I felt like we had the game won. <sighs> that card is obnoxious. Jesus Christ. I think the second Gris would have been nice to have in the deck to tutor for on the previous turn. Um, but I think we would have been screwed anyways. Like, we're pretty far behind. There's only one Visionary looks like, left, it looks like. I think our opponent, to be honest, got pretty lucky. Like, I don't think our opponent's playing super well. They used two swords of plowshares on El Elder Visionary. There's an argument to be made. Maybe we, we want the endurances. The dress downs were just a. I mean, we probably already lost, to be fair. Uh, we're just back breaking there. Um, uh, maybe we just chalk it up to variance. Like, I, we, we were pretty ahead that match, and they, ju they just went Narset into Undoing, and we only had two power on board, so we couldn't take the Narset off the board. And I think this version only plays like one Undoing, too, so maybe we just talk, chalk it up to variance. Pretty um, annoying way to lose the, uh, to finish the night though. Um, with that said, uh, hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed, I know it's kind of a bummer uh, finish, but hopefully everybody enjoyed their time here at the stream tonight. Um, here again are my socials. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, it's pretty easy. Like 
via Twitter or, or whatnot. Uh, I think I will... Let me see. I think based on this... Um, yeah, I probably don't... I'm not in love with the endur the second Endurance main, even though we won the Reanimator matchup. Um, so probably would go ahead and try the Fourth Shepherd again, because I don't, I don't actually think we need the burst it's something we can live without and i i just want high impact cards all the time granted birch floor has a very high floor uh i think the rest is like pretty straightforward i probably will cut this card i really hate it but it just happens to be good against stuff that i'm we're weak against but maybe the answer is to dodge um all right uh as thank you for hanging out especially the you levi uh hope you have a great uh you know Enjoy your, your summer job. That's pretty awesome to hear. I will go ahead and raid the Legacy Pit now.